Hello, today we are going to draw an isometric oval. An isometric oval is an approximation or a simplified version of an isometric ellipse, which is a much more complicated figure to draw. An isometric ellipse is like looking at circles in isometric projection. In the top left of the screen we can see a cube which is drawn in isometric projection with three equal angles of 120 degrees. If we draw a circle in each face of this cube and set it to isometric view, the circles appears as ellipses, which are called isometric ellipses. As you can see here, on the right side of the screen, we have taken one of the square faces of the cube and amplified it. In isometric projection, this square is represented as a rhombus. Now, the first step is to draw the horizontal and vertical diagonals on the rhombus. So first we draw, drew the horizontal, and now we're going to draw the vertical. So the next step is to draw parallel lines to both sides of the rhombus, passing through the intersection of our previously drawn diagonals, as can be seen here in the video. Now we draw another parallel line to the left side, passing through the center. So these lines will create four new points on the rhombus, which we are going to call T. These points represent the tangent points of our oval. So the four T's that we can see. The next step, I'm going to join the top left tangent to the bottom vertex of the rhombus. This line cuts our horizontal diagonal at 0, 1, which will be the first center of the oval. So now I'm going to join the bottom left tangent T to the top vertex of the rhombus, again cutting the horizontal diagonal at the same point, 0, 1. So now we are going to continue this process with the other two tangent points to get point zero two as can be seen here in the video so now that we have our first two centers of our oval and the second two centers zero three and zero four are the top and bottom vertices of the rhombus as can be seen here so the next step we must set our compass on point zero four with radius length zero four t and we scribe an arc from the upper left tangent point to the upper right tangent point, as can be seen here. And now, with our compass set on point zero 03, we scribe an arc from our bottom right tangent point to our bottom left tangent point. And again, with our compass set on point zero 01T and length zero 01T, we scribe an arc to the left, joining the two tangent points. And finally, with our compass set on point zero 02 and length zero 02t, we join the last two tangent points. Here you can see our completed isometric oval. This isometric oval is going to fit exactly into each of the three sides of the isometric cube, as can be seen here on the top right of our screen. The process is exactly the same for any of the three sides. As you can see here, the different phases. Firstly, we draw the diagonals. Then we draw the parallels to the sides. Next, we join the tangent points to the opposite vertices. And finally, we draw the isometric oval on each face of our isometric cube. So this is the way to draw circles in isometric perspective. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel.